Once again, everybody, it's NJP out here at the NJP Ranch with another installment of the Trains Multiplayer Surveyor Beta Testing, April 7th, 2020 in Australia, April 6th here in the USA. I uh, had a real interesting session, not a real crowded one. There was only probably five or six of us that were involved in this session. Uh, we weren't going to lay down any trains. We were basically laying down tracks, 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 and more tracks trying to... Uh, Try and get assertions going on it and uh, figure out some of the issues with track laying and stuff like that. So um, here was, of course, laying track. And as you can see <laughs> off on the right, uh, quite a monstrosity going there. Uh, my little yard here about, uh, I've got five or six tracks going in the yard here, uh, receiving track. And now I'm trying to find some textures to put in there, you know, just like any other operation in Surveyor, basically. The only difference is that uh, other people could show up at uh, just about any time. And, and it does happen. You see another one come wandering through here every once in a while. And oh, oh look, there's a, there's another uh, another dot right underneath where my compass is sitting. And who could that be? Oh, well, that would be Tony Hilliam himself right there. Hey, Tony. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's in the uh, beta testing, of course. Uh, why wouldn't he be? But uh, I could, I just couldn't find an all. Wouldn't you know? Within seconds, we get a high latency on the server, <laughs> and of course, you can't do anything when you're a high latency. So uh, look at this monstrosity. Now that's something I think George built that, and uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. I have no words for uh, what I feel about that because I just don't know how I feel about it. But <laughs> here's an interesting little thing: is it's almost a double slip kind of switch. Uh, uh, trains could go just basically any direction right about there. I, I really wanted to uh, try that out and see if it would work. Of course, we couldn't run any, any trains this time, but uh, it looks interesting, and who knows? And uh, I don't know who that blue dot was that just came whizzing through here. Uh, that may have been George actually himself. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, leveling off the tracks in the yard, I kind of grew tired of that, and somebody had laid down all kinds of sawmills over here, and those huge mounds of sawdust, yeah, that was me. I made those. <laughs> so... Um, I figured, what the heck, I'm just going to come in here and, and move these things around and get them, get them kind of aligned with some tracks and uh, see if we can get some working sightings working. Even though we didn't have any trains to run on them, we were going to... No, I was going to try to line them up and, and make some organization out of this chaos here. Somebody just <laughs> randomly plopped down a whole ton of sawmills out here. And uh, just for my own OCD, I wanted to uh, place them into somewhat of an orderly thing, but it just wasn't going to happen. So you know what? <laughs> Move on. <laughs> So down the line we go, and uh, there, look, there's something missing in the background here. This We're back at my little piece of dirt here in the yard. Remember this view? Yeah, what's missing from this picture? Oh, yeah, the big monstrosity. Where did that go? Um, I mentioned in the chat, and George said he deleted it. So, um, yeah, kind of crestfallen by that. I decided to go somewhere far, far away and work on something. <laughs> no, I just decided to uh, come over here and do some ter terraforming. It was just kind of a basically an open area where nothing but flat grid lines and track running through here so i figured what the heck i'll make some hills and since we can't do tunnels on here uh, i decided to just kind of level the track out at uh, at grade elevation here and uh yeah the track's going to just disappear for a moment just for a moment it'll come back trust me trust me on this it'll be back and uh again this was not track that i laid this was somebody else's track the cool thing about this and now watch this i hit the button and voila we have instant canyon edge. Yes, that is a canyon. I kind of blasted that through for the uh, track coming through there. And, eh, I guess it's kind of okay. You know, there's a little texturing on there will make it look pretty cool, I think. And not satisfied with that, I decided to actually add a little gradient to it. So on this side of the hill, um, I decided to put it up about three meters higher than, uh, than zero elevation. So we went up plus three here. And the next one back, I went to a plus 1.5. So uh, basically, kind of a smooth gradient moving through here. And you can see I raised the track up there. And uh, just for a little change in elevation, you know. And again, our concentration this week was working on the track, uh, track laying and track attributes and things like that. And trying to get some assertions. And I never did get any uh, any error reports or assertion reports. So uh, and a couple of the other guys did. I did see those pop up in the chat from time to time, but uh, for me, everything ran really smoothly except for the couple occasions when we had some high latency running. So, uh, you know, just kind of leveling things off, getting things ready for the next phase in the operation, which would be laying down some textures and putting some foliage on here, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, maybe next time somebody will come along and do it, or maybe we'll be working on something entirely different uh, on the next session. We don't know until we get there. So that being done, I decided to head back. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, this is really kind of a cool little area. 
it almost seems reminiscent of Approach Medium, but he wasn't in this session tonight, so uh, I'm not sure who did that. But uh, kudos, really, that caught my eye as I was moving back through. Kind of, I picked up a little inspiration from this. And, you know, there's their yard and kind of zooming back away from it. All right, I'm going to carry this inspiration back with me all the way back to my little piece of dirt back here. And uh, I think it's time to start building a city. Now, by this time, I think there was only Tony and George and I left on the server here. There was only like two or three, maybe four. Uh, I think Pinky was still on here with us. But... Uh, I decided to build up my own little thing. You know, three hours had gone by by now. They were getting ready to pull the plug on the server, and it's like, no, not yet, not yet. I want to get this finished. Just one little, one little thing, one more little thing. Okay, okay, all right, all right, got it. All right, so um, uh, we'll see what happens next time on this thing. But uh, it's time to wrap things up for this one. They're getting ready to shut the server down on us and uh, carry on. So uh, for April seventh, Australian time, or April sixth, two thousand twenty, for U.S. time. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again real soon, and of course, as always, until we talk again, whatever it is in life you do, keep on doing what it is you do.